Hey there, my name's Tommy and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. Today's show is a special show. It's a collab video with my buddy Joe from a Smokin' Joe Pit Barbecue. I'll leave uh, links up above and a link down below to his channel. Probably about a year and a half ago, Joe did a live feed on uh, shows that are likely to succeed or shows that he watches and so forth. And he named me on one of the, uh, I think one of the shows under a thousand viewers that should be bigger, which uh, always meant something to me and I always appreciated that. Um, but that's how the YouTube family is. That's how the uh, barbecue uh, community is. There's been uh, many, many shows that have been uh, responsible in guiding me to uh, 10K subs and uh, none more important than uh, Joe. All right, look, so let's get cooking. Joe, thanks for the support, buddy. All the other YouTube channels out there, thanks for the support. To my uh, fans, to my viewers, thanks to the support. Cheers. And I'll see you. Everybody, look, before we get going, a uh, quick a shout out to Mr. Tom Horseman. He's a, a YouTuber. He's a master built cooker. And he gave me this idea for this uh, pork cordon bleu uh, recipe. So I'll leave links up above and the links down below to a Tom's right, channel. Everybody. My name is Tommy and I am super jacked for this 10K cook with my uh, buddy Joe, right? Look, first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna split the uh, pork loin in half. And then I'm gonna give it a quick trim. Look, no big deal on the trimming this. It's very easy to do. Just kind of get your knife in there. A sharp knife helps. And just kind of turn the blade up and let it work along the uh, skin, right? Look, if you take a little meat off, no big deal. We're just backyard cooks, right? So uh, just do the best you can do. That's all, uh, well, that's all anybody could ask, right? Now what we're going to be doing here is a, a butter or fly roll cut, right? So you're going to make an incision uh, towards the end right there. And you're going to stop that cut about a quarter inch from the bottom. And then you're just going to kind of open it up and roll and cut. Roll and cut. Now you want to try to maintain that quarter inch all the way uh, all the way down the line. If it's a half inch in one spot, it's no big deal. Just kind of roll and cut, just kind of roll and cut. A sharp knife is definitely critical for a cut like this. So uh, definitely make sure your knife is uh, sharp. There you go. That's a uh, pretty a decent roll and cut right there. And now look, we are making a, a cordon bleu, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna salt and pepper it. And then we're gonna start layering our meats a cordon bleu with Swiss cheese. I got some honey baked ham, right? So we're gonna go a layer of Swiss, a layer of honey baked ham. And as a nice little twist, a nice little surprise, I got a couple of slices of bijou, right? From there, what we want to do is top it back off with a, uh, another layer of Swiss. So that's a, a layer of Swiss, layer of ham, layer of bijoute, layer of Swiss, of course. There you go. And now basically what we're going to do here is we're going to roll it up. This is uh, very, very pretty easy to do. I mean, it may look a little uh, daunting to do, but basically just get a nice fold and just kind of roll, roll, roll. Keep it as tight as you can keep it, of course. Now I got a little Swiss and ham hanging out from the bottom there. That is no big deal. And a lot of people here, what they would do is they would uh, get some uh, butcher's twine and wrap it, right? But we're gonna, uh, uh, we're not gonna do that. I'm pretty confident that that uh, 
that's pretty packed and uh, what, what I'm going to be putting on the top is to kind of keep that uh, packedness in, right? And what we're going to do here is lather it with some uh, Dijon mustard. And you want to get that Dijon mustard all around. Because from there what we're going to do is uh, cover the panko of breadcrumbs. go through a good half a can of panko. We want that stuff layered and we want that stuff packed. Right. I mean, you make this and I'm telling you, it'd be one of the juiciest pork loins you've ever made in your life. I mean, that uh, mustard with that breadcrumbs on top just kind of holds it all together. Now look, I got my pit going at about 550 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm thinking about an hour cook. I'm gonna bring this up to that internal temperature of approximately 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And I got a nice uh, pan underneath to catch all the, uh, well, to catch anything that kind of falls out. Keep my uh, grill clean, why not? We're about an hour and 20 minutes in. And uh, there you go. Oh man. Now of course we'll get a gauge in there and we'll see that we're 154, 155, 1 to 66. We are good and we are ready to get this bad boys off. Oh, oh, and that, my friends, is what I am talking about. That cheese is just kind of oozing out. Boy, that is nice and crispy cred crumbs. I mean, this is a bonafide guaranteed winner. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, Joe, huh? Damn, look at that cheese. That is a, uh, that's a lot of goodness right there. And now I do apologize for the, uh, table that's uh, rocking back and forth, but that's uh, about the best I can do for what I got today. Oh man, I can see, even see a little bit of a smoke ring, am I right? I did have a little uh, cherry uh, smoke in the uh, pit. slices off and get those on a plate for some uh, some pictures right for the uh, thumbnail but we'll take a uh, closer look before we can check out of this cook so just kind of hang in there for another minute or so oh man look at the juices on the board I mean that thing is uh I mean, this is about one of the best pork wines I've ever made in my life. And I'll tell you what, I've made many. And look, I'm going to take this in live. I appreciate you all. Thanks. So that's it. Look, it's been a, uh, it's been a long ride, but it's been a great ride. It's been a great learning experience. I'd like to thank all the uh, channels that have supported me and all my uh, fans, all my viewers that has supported me from the beginning. And there are a few out there. And I really, really appreciate it. So a nice cup of hot coffee here. And uh, Joe, again, I appreciate the uh, early on support. 
and I uh, appreciate this support today that you have given my channel. It um, definitely means a lot to me as, as a YouTuber. Um, you know, uh, all YouTubers at a uh, young start in their show definitely need some guidance, and uh, you know, Joe, you've given me that, so uh, I appreciate that. Cheers, buddy, and I'll see you at 20K.